in there. Uh-oh. Horrible. Teeth. Gnashing. Ferocious. Leviathan. I neglected to mention the Guardian of Lyasborn. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. The monster must be tamed, Chief Whistle. What, a rolled-up newspaper? <laughs> Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex. Confound. Are we still talking about manatees? I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand them. So, you to put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Huh. So I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. You don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee shooter to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost during a trial run, mashed like peas. Yeesh. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand that? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the wings to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super-absorbent prize! Okay, got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee, and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our grasp! All right, you. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Not telling you, man. I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. Solidarity, brother. Hm. Well, you can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him. No bolts to turn here. Murray. His name is Santino. Santino. Well, it's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, Murray, you've gone political. I just learned all those words. I'm throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks! Loose to give up his info. Never! I revel in your frustration with my tight-lipped comrade. Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. Hey, Morgan. I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mint. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's lane. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. 
right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. Then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine! Perfect! <laughs> Talk a male manatee and standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Man, hey, huh? Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. It's getting tough. Sorry it had to come to this. Tongue of the Manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... Three <laughs> Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than the sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! Don't hurt anyone else. I'll talk. Go. I didn't have it. That's all I can remember. Forgive me for not trusting your vile encrusted memory. I didn't have it, bro. He's telling the truth. Or at least he thinks he is. All right, who's next? I need information. I'll never break. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Comfy? You're a betrayer. But do you think Morgan is still into me? Oh, yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she cares. Good. Thought you were the scaredy cat of the group. I'm deceptively principled, unlike you, Benedict Arnold. Arr! No, not one of Can't intimidate me. All right, that's enough. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Whoa, look at the mug on that nut. Kava's locket. Voodoo trinket or foil wrapped candy with a nougat center. Look all you want, but don't take it. into the decrepit shell of a sailor suffering starvation or the torpid corpse of a malnourished deckhand. It's me, Guybrush. Even I'm getting tired. Now the arrow points the opposite way. 
This should be interesting. Or brought with peril. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Ah, the daisy <laughs> She can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Come on in! Um, enter my... Mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to. Uh, pardon me, I can't quite remember. Taking a break from playing around with my. <clears throat> with the hand of Threepwood, hmm? Quoi? How do you know this? Are you feeling alright? You seem, how you say, bizarre. <laughs> I feel great. Live. Never better. Uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait. While you're here, I want to ask you something. No. I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees. And I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. Excellent. Run back to your freaky laboratory and fetch it for me. I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for the sciences. Marquis, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. <laughs> With that, I must go. I can practically taste my underpants. <laughs> uh, no, it is impossible. Incredible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. Just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open! I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. <laughs> my motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram! Hmm. Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps.
<laughs> well, that's a huge time saver. Wow. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? can have no effect on me. <laughs> Look at me, stressing out over some trumped-up magical threats. Ridicule. <laughs> Instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty Pirate. Even I'm getting tired of hearing that. Information. I'll never break. Arr! Stop! Ah! Please, no, Sister Agnes. No, he's sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. Well, I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please! He doesn't know. Oh, no. all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. the tongue of the manatee, scumbag. It was Moose! Moose had it! Wow, that was easy. Is this true? Sad, I can't remember, brah. It's Jimbo! His I-Car funnel! That's the tongue of the manatee! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. How could I forget? I wonder. we rode in on. He looks okay, considering. Hi, Mr. Manatee. This probably sounds like nonsense to your unevolved ear, but I think I can understand you now. What are you going through? out how to speak like a manatee so I can help this guy out and get to the sponge. I better figure out how to speak. Yeah, but I want to come inside. Let's go really close. Hungry fellow? Oh, 
of that ingestion and digestion is toss the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Ew, a slimy grub. I haven't played bongo since my stint as a beat poet. Hmm. There's nothing interesting up there now, just a whole lot of tongue. I've got Takava's exit concoction, which can be administered to the main bile pool whenever I need to get out of here. This is going to be one regular giant manatee. I'd never punch a manatee. Well, maybe it's self-defense. I've got Takava's exit concoction, which can be administered to the main bile pool whenever I need to get out of here. This is gonna be one regular giant manatee. Nope, I can't reach it that way. It's just too far down. The dab will do ya. Whoops. That was, um... Actually, I don't want to talk about it. to self. Never go fishing over the sacred manatee mating grounds.
Here we go. Of the manatee, travel edition. <laughs> travel. And let's get out of here. It's worse when you know what's coming next. It's the travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. 